Trader, trade, trader, Cobb Crypto Podcast. Podcast. This is the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Today is a new day. Going to go through and have a look at the top 10 because you know what? The market's come off. It's not any surprise to you guys because you've been listening to my show for a while now and I've been telling you for quite some time that the bottom line is that we are still in a downtrend. I'm talking about Bitcoin here. I'm talking about the top 10 and it is back into that cradle zone. Well, it actually didn't make the cradle zone on the weekly. It's just sold off prior to getting in there. But we've had a big day, uh, a big, big day, as a matter of fact. We've sold off 4.3%. So it's not, it's not massive for the market itself because we know the market can do very, very large moves. But it is pretty con, uh, con, you know, big considering we've been just grinding higher. And it sort of plays into what I've been talking about with these uh, spikes, these four-hour, these 15-minute, these one-hour spike candles. We, we tend to see them occur across that 15-minute time zone. They just spike up and then pull back and then spike up and then pull back. This is the first real wave of selling that looks to be somewhat significant. The buying, we haven't seen any buying activity coming into the market that has lasted, that's been long lasting, been trending and been really smooth in these conducive trading conditions. And as a matter of fact, guys, I'm looking at this now on a 15 minute chart on Bitcoin. The selling looks way more convincing. It looks a lot more convincing as it seems to be selling off in waves. Now it's pulling back into the cradle zone and selling off and pulling back in and selling off again. It's not just one big candle. It is you know, a, a selling event with participation of the market. So to me, the selling activity looks a lot more normal and uh, more, uh, more, you know, market characteristic wise, uh, strong than it does to the upside. So Bitcoin down 4.4%. Percent Ethereum, it's a bit of a shame. I had a short on Ethereum last week. I got stopped out two days ago on my short trade, making a losing trade, and now it's well within profit land. And it's uh, it would have hit one to one, but again, that uptrend that I had talked about on Ethereum it had been in an uptrend, it is now reversed. It's not a downtrend, but it's no trend. We have a higher high and a lower low. So Ethereum against the dollar again, looking quite bearish once more. Bitcoin Cash continues to move over, sorry, continues to roll over, continues to look weak. Now, EOS, for those of you that took the crypto cradle a couple of days, sorry, a couple of weeks back, the short cradle on EOS, you're doing very well now. Uh, it would have hit one to one, and uh, yesterday and today has definitely now gone on to uh, to have a decent move. It's down 4% today, and once again with the rest of the market, it does look quite bearish and likely to hit lower lows. Cardano, another one I want to talk about because it now has a new lower high and lower low, down 6.77%. It's the biggest faller in the top 10 today, and it does look very, very weak. There is no doubt about that at all. Lumen, we're looking at Lumen to see if it could break up and set a new higher high to go with the higher low. Well, it's not done that. As a matter of fact, we have a lower high, and now we have a lower low. It is looking weak. It has rolled over, and it is moving to the downside, as is NEO. NEO now has on the daily a lower high and lower low. Gone are the lofty heights of $49. We are back sitting at $34 flat. IOTA. Onto IOTA, lower highs, lower lows, looking bearish. There's no doubt about that. Ripple down 5.6%. Now back into that downtrend, uh, breaking down through that support and looking very, very bearish indeed, as is Litecoin. It has tested $73.82, which is a support level. We'll see if we hold or if we break. Now, the thing that I find interesting across this top 10 is the way in which the selling is occurring. You guys have seen or you've heard, you understand that these one hour or these 15 minute spikes of buying, I've been confused by them. I don't know what they are. I don't know why they're happening. They've not been uh, natural. They don't look, uh, they don't look like something to me that has been um, strong. 
it doesn't look like a good trend. And because of the way that I trade, which is trading optimal chart structure, it's kept me out of trading that uptrend, that minor four-hour uptrend on Bitcoin. And it's a good reason for that. Now, we are seeing the selling coming in today. Am I panicking? Absolutely, goddamn not. A, it's in a downtrend. B, we could just be setting up for a higher low. Now, that's a wonderful thought. I'd love that to happen. But the bottom line is I've got to trade what I see, not what I think and not what I want, not what I feel. I'd love to see a higher a low come off of maybe 63 65 60 hundred or so 6,000 not 65 because we're below there I'd love to see a higher low come in because a higher low is the first thing that we need to go for a higher high to reverse that daily downtrend now right now it looks as though with Bitcoin it's just pulled back up and now it's selling off we'll wait and see what happens if we do get this high low wonderful let's just take our time and wait and see what happens happens. Guys, have a very good day. Trade safely. Manage your risk. Be very careful. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now, guys. The Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Check out TraderCobb.com because experience matters.